Welcome back everyone. Hope everyone is staying safe out there. So the plan this week is to finally get these engine bay painted on the Camaro. Last week I finished up the underneath of the whole car, so go ahead and check out that video explaining of everything what I have completed on the underside of this car. So I did this off camera just one night after work, just decided to come out here and start prepping everything a little bit. But I did get the top of the core support all ground out. You have to take a couple more little tabs off. But everything is prepped for that. I take off the hood hinges and prep this because it's kind of like a rougher, it's a rougher appearance on this. I have to sand this out, get it prepped, masked off correctly because this is just a quick tape job just doing the other side from last week. Make sure that's masked off correctly. I think this is supposed to be body color normally, but we're just gonna go ahead and stick with the satin black as well since they're already painted. This section here, I started feathering this out a little bit. I'm gonna repaint this all, this black color up here. Uh, probably take the trim tag off as well. When I first started talking about this car, everyone thinks that thought it was a fake due to these uh, screws or bolts or whatever they are being held on the trim tag. So I'm gonna take that off, clean it up. I know this car was repainted before, so I'm sure that's probably what they did. They just ground off the rivets and put the tag back on it. Take all that off, mask a little bit better up here, take this uh, weather stripping off, and then I'll be painting that as well when I do the engine bay. Probably have to weld this up. They had an MSD ignition box. These holes were drilled for that, so I wanna weld those up. Um, this is a little bit deformed coming outwards, so I gotta do a little bit of hammer and dolly work to pound that back in, straighten it out before I go ahead and put some paint on it. So I got everything all chipped away. The old seam sealer is out. And now I'm able to tape this off. So I taped right a little bit past the edge to where this overlaps and meets the other three panels that are then welded together. So now all I'm gonna do is just get some new seam sealer and push it in there. The factory, you know, they just slopped it everywhere, but I might as well do it a little bit cleaner if I can. So that's why I taped it off. You can just get any brushable or, you know, sometimes they come in a, a can that you could load with like a caulking gun or something but i'm just using this uh brushable seam sealer it's just an off-white so it is paintable after a certain amount of time um i'm just putting it on tonight and then tomorrow morning i'll be able to hopefully prep the rest of this while i leave this dry and uh, it'll be ready to paint over by then but I forgot to mention too if you guys don't know what seam sealer does there's panels that have gaps that especially like an area like this that you can get water and moisture in, and that just starts to corrode the car from underneath the panel out. So to combat this, you wanna use a, it's kind of like just a rubber cement in a sense um, for the automotive use. You just put in these seams and that just increases the corrosion resistance of the panel. So it just kind of seals it off and makes sure that no moisture actually gets in between the panels. If I was doing a larger area, I would be using a brush, but since this is um, since this is a small area, I could really get in here easily with my finger. 
So just make sure you're pressing in the grooves nice and tight. You can clean up the outside edges later. Not an exact science, just so you get enough in there is the main thing. Okay, now to clean it up, what I'm gonna do is I got some lacquer thinner and a rag. And I'll just hit my, put it on my finger and this smooth it out. One clean swipe all the way down. Next, let me just fill in a little bit of this, these lows in here that we have from being dented over the years, worked on, whatever. Uh, just can't get behind there, like I said, to pound it out. So just put a skim coat uh, where I need to on filler, and we'll be good to sand that out tomorrow as well. All right, so next on my to-do list, and in previous video, these are all blasted, so these are bare metal, and that's the hood latch and the hood support uh, for the latch right here as well. So I'm gonna be using the Eastwood rust encapsulator once more on that bare metal. I didn't show you guys this, but a couple, maybe a month or two ago, I sanded all this down for the inner fenders and uh, painted them in epoxy gray with the SPI. So what I have to do now, I sand it down the epoxy again and make sure that it's ready for final top coat. So I'll be using the Eastwood under these. So this is the where the wheel's gonna be flinging dirt and stuff. So I'll be putting Eastwood on that, Eastwood on those two pieces. And then for a final top coat, I'll, I will then use an SPI epoxy, the black for that. Mm -hmm. 